Right, hi guys, uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, and I'm going to be taking you through steps of how to become a YouTuber. I just, I just want to say this at first, some of the, some of the stuff I'm going to say right now, I currently do not have, um, and I will be getting very soon for my YouTube uh, channel. But I'm still going to take you through, talk you through the things I know about being a YouTuber because lots of my friends are them. One of my friends I think has about 100 subs now and um, yeah. So let's get into it. First let's talk about obviously how you, if you're going to use your computer, no, your Xbox, how you're going to get it over from um, on li like your Xbox over to online, how you're gonna capture it and get it over. First, let's go over the capture card you're probably gonna want. First is a, um, I recommend the Algato HD60. As you can probably tell, um, I think it records in 60 frames per second, 1080p, and it's just a really good capture card for if you're quite big in the community and you like to record your Xbox. I'm not saying anything bad about the other capture cards. I'm just saying that's for higher up in YouTube. I'm currently not going to get that for now. But maybe if I grow a bit in the future I might get that. But um, yeah, so that's one of them. The Elgato, really recommended. Obviously, if you are going to start YouTube and you want to grow a channel, you are going to have to spend a bit of money. But trust me, guys, it's worth it. Because if you trade in some money and you get become a good YouTuber, you get money back. So it is definitely worth it. But sorry, this clip is really bad because I die a lot. But um, anyway, it's really worth it. But anyway, next capture card. Um, God damn it. Um, I'm going to talk about the HD PVR Rocket. Now, this is quite a good capture card. I currently am going to get this one, um, but for now, I just have to use what I use right now. But it's really good, and if you're that type of that person that don't don't like to use their PC or their PCs in another room, or you travel quite a lot to other places, this is for you. It's a PC free capture card. You need to link it up to your TV and your Xbox, and you, all you need is a USB um, thumb drive. But I do recommend one that has about 16 gig um, because that will allow you four hours of gameplay. But yeah, it's just a really good capture card. And the next one is the kind of it's better for if you're more calm. You stay at home like a lot, or you just don't want to spend. You know, I'd go for the HD PVR Rocket because you spend a little bit less money. But the HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition Plus, I currently do not know a lot about this, but I've heard it's quite a good capture card. I think it records in 720p. I'm not sure, and it's really good for starting out with. But also, uh, I can't really say anything about this one because I don't really know much because I don't know anyone that records with it. But anyway, so apart from that, let's get into so, uh, the other one, which is, this is perfect for the position where you're starting out YouTube, you're not sure you want to actually start YouTube. I'd go with the Roxio Game Capture to you guys. It's recommended. Um, it I think it records in only 420p though, that's why it's starting off, but I think you can get a higher one, but it costs about £100, and that only records in 720 so uh, I'd get the Algato if you are going to like spend £100, but um, yeah, so let's get into the next thing, mics. I currently do not use a mic because I don't need one, because the thing I use just takes it in when I speak, but... 
if you want, you know, if you've got a capture card, uh, you should have followed that one first. Then I recommend the Blue Snowball to you guys. It's a really great mic. It makes you sound better when you do your commentaries. It makes the game sound better. No, and there's um, no surround sound, so you know it focuses in on your voice. And yeah, it's just a really great mic for people that are high in the community. Also one, this is for the advanced people that really want to do it. Because if you get the snowball, you're only spending about 40 quid. But if you really do like YouTube, I'd go for the Blue Yeti, which is a higher rank of it. It's very, very advanced and it's very, your voice is very crisp and clear. But, um, yeah. So, apart from that, that's really good. Now, you don't really want to record with some mic that's, you know, five, five pounds. Because that's not really the way to go. But, obviously, I don't have one right now, but I do actually have this mic, and it is my mic that I use for everything, and it, yeah, it pretty much works with my HDV when I get it. It, um, is very good, and, yeah, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, also, let's move on to the next thing. Video, you know, video editing software. Um, if you're not very big, I'd probably go with, um, probably with the video ads, video editor. This is what I use. I use it on my phone. Just, I go through my videos, see if there's need, needed to be any editing done so it's not laggy at all. And then I just upload it straight to YouTube. But sometimes I have to retake it about five times, just making sure it doesn't lag, because my videos can lag sometimes. Now, um, so yeah, it's perfect for the position if you've got like, if you're just little in the YouTube community. But if you're more advanced, like the Snowball, then I'd use Video Ad Editor. But if you're more advanced into the YouTube community, I'd go with the um, Sony Vegas Pro 13. Now this is a very good one. You can, you know, add colours. You can add your like mic levels. You can do a lot with this. This is one of the advanced editing softwares. I've never, I've currently I've only ever used it once in my whole life. And yeah, it's currently quite good, I believe. But uh, apart from that, I think that's all we need to talk about. So guys, um, yeah, I'll probably do another video on this about other stuff. Maybe some more capture cards for you guys or some more mics that I find. Or maybe just about, extra I might do a video on extracting it to the PC. Now, um, apart from that, that's it guys, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, it helps a lot, and uh, yeah, see you guys later, goodbye!